How can you find the total number of objects in equal groups? Think about this question during the lesson. Jessie used three bags to bring home the goldfish she won at a fun fair. She put the same number of goldfish in each bag. How many goldfish did she win? Let's find out. How many goldfish do you see in each bag? Select your answer. There are eight goldfish in each bag. How can counters help to show groups? The counters show three groups of eight goldfish. I can use counters to show the groups. You can use addition to join equal groups. There are three bags with eight goldfish in each bag. Eight plus eight plus eight equals twenty-four. Jesse won twenty-four goldfish. The addition relates to the counters because it shows adding three groups of eight. Multiplication is an operation that gives the total number when you join equal groups. The bar diagram shows three bags of goldfish with eight goldfish in each bag. How can this be written using multiplication? There are three groups, or bags, with eight goldfish in each bag. So, three times eight equals twenty-four. Factors are the numbers that are being multiplied. The first factor, three, represents the three groups, or bags. The second factor, eight, represents the eight goldfish in each bag. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. The product in this equation is the total number of goldfish Jesse won, or 24 goldfish. Let's see how to show an addition equation and a multiplication equation. 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals what number? 3 times 8 equals what number? The question mark represents an amount that is not yet known in both equations. An unknown is a symbol for a number in an equation. The question mark represents the sum that is not known in this addition equation or the product that is not known in this multiplication equation. Both equations tell you that Jesse won 24 goldfish. You know that multiplication is an operation involving equal groups. We can use representations to see how these equal groups in multiplication are the same as repeated addition. Here, you can see six groups of three. Because the groups are equal, we know we can use multiplication to figure out the total. We can also represent this using a bar diagram. Both of these representations show the equation 6 times 3, or 6 groups of 3. We can also make this an addition equation. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. We call this repeated addition because we add the same number multiple times since the groups are equal. Both equations give us the same answer of 18. You can see how the equal groups in a multiplication problem are also repeated addition. Use what you know about multiplication to help you solve your problem.